This is Degaris MPC, Mathematics, Physics, Computing. It's 130 plus courses on pure mathematics and mathematical physics at master's and PhD level. This is course number four, so MPC four, on linear algebra at uh, junior and senior level. This is lecture one, session DD, and this will be the last session for this chapter, for this lecture. Uh, one lecture, one chapter, one chapter, one lecture. So, <coughs> we, we're talking about the vector equation of a line, and, and uh, just continue on from the last session. So the general formula for a line, so if, it's, if this is, if x is some point on the line, then its corresponding vector, x, you know, wiggle to show it's a vector, is uh, the vector of some point p that's on the line, and u is a vector that's parallel to, or uh, collinear with uh, the line. Okay, so here's the general form, and t is just the parameter. T, t can vary. A, a parameter is just some number that can vary, uh, that gets used in an equation, which is obviously the case here. So by, by, obviously by varying t, you get a different value. Now p and u, they're fixed, right? But by varying t, you get a different x, okay? And, and every point, uh, now all, what are these x's? They're just the vectors of points on the line, and there'll be an uncountably infinite number of points on, on the line. So, you know, t, if, if it's an infinite line, if it just extends to infinity in both directions, then this t uh, ranges from minus infinity to infinity, okay? Now, uh, now, now we, we are in uh, R4, so in four-dimensional space, so you're given a point, uh, here it is, it's that, that, that's its uh, vector to the point that lies on the line. And here's your uh, direction vector, if you like, uh, u. That, uh, the, so the, li uh, the line's uh, orientation is parallel with this vector here. So now uh, to take... <coughs> So the ith component of this x uh, will just be uh, ai. Now that that's the component, the ith component of your point p. So a1 would be that a2, a3, a4. Okay, plus t, and that's the ith component of, of your vector u. So u1 would be that u2, u3, u4. Right. So uh, so so what this is is your uh, from the previous session, it's your parametric, parametric representation. In other words, just the list of the formulas for each component. So you'll you'll have one formula here for i is one, second one for two, three, four. Okay. So so uh, let's find it for the first component. So x one. So that'll be a one, which is four, uh, plus t u one. That's two. So uh, that'll be 4, that'll be 2, so x1 will be 4 plus 2t, 4 plus 2t, okay? And s similarly, so what's the second component of this? Uh, so this will be u2, uh, sorry, a2, and that'll be u2, uh, a2 and u2, so it'll be minus 2 plus 5t, Minus two plus five t, and, and and similarly, or just just quickly. So, the third one it'll be uh, three minus seven t, three minus seven t, and the fourth one. So this will it'll be one plus eleven t. Uh, where is it? where are we here? One plus eleven t. Okay. <clears throat> now the second part of of the question. Uh, question number is, let me just check, is 1.33, 1, 1, 
point thirty-three. Now, you, uh, part two. So you're asked to find a par repra, uh, parametric, which is short for parametric representation of a line which passes through two points. Now, just common sense. Like if, if this is a line in uh, n-dimensional space, it's a line, and you're given, uh, well, yeah, where, where my fingers grip the line, so that's point one, and, and that's point two. If, uh, if you're given those two points, that fixes the, the line, right? So if, I give, if, if my second point's over here somewhere, well then, you. So, so two points, uh, common sense, fixes the, the, the line. So, uh, so, uh, we're, so now uh, we're given two points, P and Q, so the, the vector of uh, point P is this. Now we're, uh, we are, there are two components, so we're talking about R2 now. We're, we're in uh, two-dimensional space. So we're given two points. Uh, now, but the formula for uh, a line is of this form. So uh, how? You know, so so we know we know what a point. Well, we get we're given. Where, where, where are we? I'm getting confused. Oh, here, up here. Because <coughs> I've got another one down here. So. Uh, so we have two choices. We have we we're given two points. So either we use this one or this one. But uh, where's u? Where's where's the uh, the vector that lies along the line? Where, where do we get that from? Well, uh, if you, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll draw it. <coughs> if you have two points on the line, you can find uh, a vector that lies along the line. Here, I'll, I'll just draw it. So here's, say that's point P, and here's point Q. So that's your vector P, and that's your vector Q. Well, um, this vector here, call it, call it U. U, U, oops, yeah. U, Vector u, what is it? Well, to go from p to q, you'll go, it's the, it's the same as going this way, so minus p plus q, or in other words, q minus p. Follow that logic? I'll, I'll say it again just quickly. <coughs> if you have two points on the line, so the, the vectors, if you're from the, here's the origin of your coordinate system, so uh, the, the the vectors of the two points would be p, your p vector and q vector, but the vector from p to q, that's that's your u, that's uh, that's a vector that lies along the line, okay. But what is u? Well, from here to here, that vector is the same as adding this vector, which is minus p, the negative vector, minus p plus q, so minus p plus q. So you, th there's 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 a formula for your vector u, a vector that lies along the line. It's q minus p. Well, we, we have q and p, so we just subtract p from q. So let's do that. And, oh, and call, call this uh, now pq, <coughs> let's, uh, so the, the that, ve that vector, PQ, is uh, just this, and it's the same as U, by definition, pretty much, and uh, U is Q minus P, so PQ, this line segment vector, uh, is Q minus P. So PQ is Q minus P. Well, uh, what is Q and what's P? Q is 9, 3, and you subtract P from it. So uh, it's vector addition, well in this case vector subtraction, but um, all right, so uh, 9 minus 7, so you get 2 and 3 minus minus 2, so plus 4, so, so 3 minus minus 2, so that's plus 2, so 5. Okay, so we've got, we've got here the, the u, okay, it's 2, 5, that's its vector. Here's the general formula. Now, now we've got a point P, so this one, 
No, it doesn't really matter. We could we could choose Q. Either point's okay. <coughs> but let's we'll just choose P. Uh, here's, here's the general formula for the equation of a, a line in N space. In this case, uh, only two dimensions. So we're talking about R2, so two-dimensional space. <coughs> And uh, what are, we're asked to find a parametric representation. In other words, uh, the n equations for the n components. Well, we're in R2, so there'll only be two equations. So we'll have the first component of x and the second component. So for the first, so, so here it is in general, for, the, for each uh, component i, where i ranges from 1 to 2, because we're, we're in R2. So x1 will be a1, that's the first component of p, so that'll be a 7, uh, plus tu, uh, the first component of u, Where's, where is u? Here, 5. Okay, so... Uh, sorry, 2. 2. So it'll be 7 plus 2t. And the second component will be uh, a2 plus t u2 a2 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 is a2 this one so, so uh, it'll be minus 2 here plus t uh, t t t u2 what's u2 uh, u2 u2 where's u2 <coughs> 5 yeah, plus five, so five T. Okay, so here here is your list of uh, your components, formulas for the components of your uh, line. And so that and that together, you know, it's a list, is your parametric representation for the for your two components of the vector equation for the line. So we've done it. Okay, now. Uh, so there are two, two parts to this part. Uh, so that was, 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 was A, now part B. Now, <coughs> what's the difference? Now, now the, only, the only difference compared to part A is, uh, again, we're given two points on the line that, specify, that fixes the, the, the line. Uh, the only difference is now we're in R3, in three-dimensional space. So we're given two, two points on the line or, and the corresponding vectors, which is P wiggle and Q wiggle. So as in A, uh, we find the, this vector from P to Q, we'll call it U, which is uh, Q minus P. So we just take this vector and subtract from it this one. So here it is. So here's your Q here, minus vector P there. Uh, so 1 minus 5, so it would be minus 4, uh, minus 3 minus 4, so minus 7, 2 minus minus 3, it's 2 plus 3, 5, and that, uh, it's a bit smudgy, oh, oh. so that, that is your u, okay, that's your vector u, that's, that's the a vector that lies along the line, p, p, q, so that, that's like, <coughs> line segment PQ. <coughs> uh, here's your general formula for the, uh, the that's the equation for the line uh, and express in terms of the components of, of the vector, the ith component. So, so XI will be PI plus TUI of this form. Uh, the ith component of P is just AI and uh, we're now talking three space, R3, uh, so we'll need, for the parametric specification, we'll need three equations, um, one for each component. So we'll, we'll need an equation for x1, for x2, for x3. So, <coughs> so for x1, you'll have a1, u1, so a1, that's five, uh, and u1, it's minus four, so five minus four t. <coughs> uh, similarly, so the second component, so x two, so a two plus t u two, so a two a two a two. That's this one, so four here, and u two u two u two, so minus seven t. Okay, there it is here. And the third one, uh, so it'll be a three t u three. So what's a three? 
it's minus 3 yeah, and plus t and what's u3 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 is 5 there it is there, there are your three equations for the three components and by definition that is the parametric representation All right <coughs> now uh, so this is the end of the first lecture the the 26 plus 4, uh, we've been through the alphabet, plus 4 more, DD, so uh, 30 sessions. Um, uh, I notice on my uh, memory use of my 128G microchip that I use for this camera, uh, that I, I've done about seven, seven or so hours so I'm averaging about 15 minutes, more or less, per session. Right. Uh, <coughs> now, now, that we're, now, now we're talking about policy uh, recommendation to, to you as the students uh, concerning section three. Now, section one, remember, uh, for each chapter is typical of the Shaum series of textbooks. Uh, uh, section one is the very condensed skeletal theory. Section two, uh, solve problems, and that's what we've been doing for quite a few sessions. Uh, section three are supplementary, like extra problems. Uh, that's what I'm going to talk about now, just briefly. And section four are the like half line answers to section three, the questions in section three. So uh, in general, I, you know, to save time, I will not uh, lecture on the questions in section three because they just repeats the in a sense redundant. Um, <clears throat> but they're good practice for you to test your theory. Now, uh, for this chapter, there, there. You remember, here's the there is, there are uh, symbol in pure math. It, it looks like a capital E, but a mirror image this way. Okay, so it's sort of a mirrored capital E and it means there is or there are or there there is a so that there is there are there is there are uh, 25 uh, extra or supplementary problems and the question numbers range from 34 to 58 so 25 of them in section 3 extra problems so uh, and, and section 4 as I was saying just a bit before, contains the answers to the supplementary problems. Uh, but, but not all. Uh, typically, if you have like a proof type question, uh, you, you can't put a proof in like half a line, right? So uh, such uh, answers get, uh, <coughs> they, they don't appear. But uh, so of the 25 questions, 18 answers were given. So that's about 72%. So, uh, advice to you as students is you know, study the theory in section one and the solve problems in section two in the textbook uh, and in the video lectures, sort of both. Um, the, the lectures help break the ice and uh, <coughs> help you uh, familiarize yourself with unfamiliar material. So by combining the two, by studying the text, which you need to, to get, uh, so you, either you can download it for free, uh, suggest uh, Emule, E-M-U-L-E. -E. Uh, in, in fact, I think for this course uh, on my website, uh, I, I have a link to the text. So you can just download it for free from my website. Uh, and that link is from Google. So... Uh, so Google supplied the link to it. So, uh, or another way of getting it is to use uh, emule, that's E-M-U-L-E dot -E com, and you can download it for free or, or buy it, maybe either new or secondhand. Um, you probably get it pretty cheaply secondhand. So it, you, if you're gonna study this course seriously, you, you, you really need the text because you, you know, to, to uh, answer the questions in section three, you need to know what the questions are. And for that, uh, since I'm not doing them in these lectures, uh, you need to have the textbook to know what the questions are in section three. And, and, and to know the answers in section four, you need the text. Okay, so get the text. 
either download it or buy it. All right, then then solve those 25 questions. You, if, if, if you're a serious student, uh, be serious, right? Uh, commit yourself and, and solve them. And by solving them, you, you will master the material. Okay. Uh, and you can check your answers in section four, which, which contains you know, typically like half line or less uh, answers to the questions in section three. All right, so that now the next chapter uh, just a bit of an introduction, will be on linear equations. So I'll talk initially what, what, is, what is a linear equation, what does linear mean, and so forth. And that, that probably too will be around two dozen or more uh, sessions for chapter two. And I'll stop here. Ciao.